Hey and welcome back to another Dark World tutorial. So today we're going to be doing something interesting. Um, we're going to be making a magical drink as you can see in the example here. So we need to make sure that we're in cycles render. Also make sure the video resolution is the same as the movie clip that we're using. And also make sure your percentage slider is at 100% and we can go ahead and change this over to the movie clip editor. So go ahead and open up the movie clip you want to use. I'll make sure to throw a link in the description so you can use this one too. So now let's set the timeline to be the same as the movie length. So to do that we just press this set scene frames button here. Then we can go ahead and prefetch the movie clip. If this bar doesn't fill up all the way, what you'll need to do is go to file, then user preferences, over to system and then scroll down and then just increase the memory cache limit. But now this is prefetched, we can play this through. Let's get started by creating a tracking point. For the motion, we can leave it as location. But for the match, we want to change this to previous frame. And also check normalize. So this will help Blender find your track a little easier. Also, let's uh, check search size so we can see where Blender is searching for the track. Now we can pick a tracking point. I'm going to hold control, then left click. Then I'm going to press S and scale this up press G. So this is what Blender is going to be looking for and this is the area Blender is going to search for this. But let's just reduce the search size. If it's too big Blender will slow down and it'll take too long but I think that should be fine. If you're working with really blurry footage you want to increase this as much as you can get away with so keep that in mind. Okay so now we've got this tracking point let's track forward so scroll down here. Let's track forward track does a pretty good job but if it doesn't just go back just get a clean track so the next thing we can do while we're here is create a mask so let's change this to the masking mode so let's create a new mask and call it glass then if we hold control and left click we can create some points we just want to kind of trace around here this is where the liquid's going to be Then hold Alt and then press C just to close the mask. Now we can go back and refine this. Okay, so now you've got the rough shape, we can press A to deselect the one that we had. Then press A to select them all. Then if we press V, and then we want to choose automatic. It does a pretty good job all around except up here so we need to just refine this just want to drag this in same thing for this side as well okay so now we've got this normally what we do is parent this to the track by pressing control P but this time I'm not going to do that since I'm going to flip this liquids for the reflection and the uh, if we parent it to the tracker, it can get messed up. So for this example, I'm not going to parent this. While we're here as well, we may as well uh, create the second mask that we need to create, which would be for the top of the liquid. So what we can do is just use this as a template. So let's press this number two here. This has now created a whole new mask. We've got the original glass. And now we've got this new one here. Let's rename this. Just A to deselect it all. Then press B. I'm going to select all of these here, except these top ones. Press X to delete. And I just want to create a couple of new points here. So if I hold control and then left click, I'll just create a whole new point. Now for this one, since we don't need to flip it, we can actually parent it to this. So if we press A to select them all, press control, then P. It's now parented and it will move with the glass. Okay, so now we've got that done, we can go ahead and move over to the node editor and start piecing things together. So change this from the movie clip editor to the node editor. As always, we need to change this to the scene tab. Check use nodes so we can see these nodes. Then check backdrop so we can see what we're doing. So we don't need the render layer. Go ahead and delete that. Shift A, add in a viewer node. So go to output, viewer node. Shift A, input, 
we need to add a movie clip. And maybe we can select this icon here, choose the movie clip we've already loaded in. And let's just connect this up to the composite and the viewer. So now we need to add the liquid. So Shift A, go to Color, Mix. Just drop this on here. So I'm going to be using a video clip. Again, I'll throw a link in the description so you can use this too. Shift D and duplicate this movie clip that we've got here. Go ahead and open up the movie clip. Let's plug this into the image. So this is going to be the magical liquid that we're using. And if we play through, we can just see it's animated. It's pretty cool. Shift A, go to Distort and Transform. Drop this on here. And then we need to reduce this, so let's maybe 0.3. Looks okay. Um, and then if we select this box here, we can preview the alpha. See the alpha around it. And then let's just move this so it sits in the glass. And move this over on the X. And down on the Y. Get something that looks like that. Now we can shift A, go to input, add in the mask that we created. I just want to select this icon here, choose glass, plug this into the factor, and there you go. Now you can render it out and you're done. <laughs> now it needs a, a lot more work for it to be done, but um, we'll get in there. So we will be adding some blur to it later on, but I'll uh, come back to that. Okay, so now that's there, uh, if we play through we'll see that it doesn't move with the footage, so we need to make this work. So let's move this over, make some space. And we've done this in a previous tutorial, we're just going to add a translate node, so Shift A, Distort, then Translate, drop this on here. But if you've followed along in the previous tutorial, you'll already know that you need to duplicate this and drop it onto the mask too. Now we need to add a node to make this move, so Shift A, go to Input, Track Position, and then let's select this icon here. Now we've got two movie clips, the one that we want to use is the one that we set the tracking marker for, which would be this first one here. Then we need to select the camera, then let's choose the track, and if we plug this into the X and Y, X and Y, we'll get this. <laughs> so let's just change the position from absolute to relative start. There we go. So now when we play through, the mask and the background will move along as well. Okay, so let's just tidy things up. Press B, select these here, Control J, just add a frame. I've left out the mask and the original background just um, because I'll be using them again, so just to keep things tighter. Right, let's move on. We will come back and make this look more like liquid, um, but I'm going to add the rest of the things first before I do that. So, Shift A, go to Color, then Mix, and now we're going to add the um, reflection on the bottom. So now we've plugged this in here, what we can do is use this feed here from this transform plug this into the bottom so this is just the background image and it's not going to be it's not being moved I'm going to do the same thing for the mask just pull just grab this mask here and plug it into the factor so now it looks exactly the same and what we can do shift a distort then flip I'm going to drop in a flip node but we want it to flip on the Y not the X so change this to Y I drop this onto here, then we shift D, drop this onto the mask and the factor. Now we have this. Now we need to move this down, so we need to shift A, distort, translate, drop this after the flip. And since we need to move the, uh, the mask as well, so shift D, drop this onto the flip as well. So now when we move this on the Y, we also need to copy its value onto this one as well. So the easiest way to do that is Shift A, go to Input, add in a value node. And then we're just going to plug this into the Y on both of these nodes. Now we can position this if we just bring it all the way down. Something like that. 
But again, as we play through, everything will move except this. If we see here, yeah, it's just not moving. So again, we need to add that translate node again. So if I'm not explaining this uh, well enough, please ask in the comments below and I'll try and explain it. But um, I know it's quite a few nodes to get around. So Shift A, Distort, Translate. Oh, in fact, what we could do is just copy this Translate node. So Shift D, do the same thing. Shift D for this one. Now these translate nodes are going to move this image along with the scene. So we need to use that track input node, which we've already got one over here. So what we can do is press Control C to copy it. Then press Control V to paste it. And then if we press G, we can just move this over. We can connect these up to the X and Y of both of these. So let's just close this down as well so it's not too messy. So now <laughs> it's quite a few nodes, but now we've got the reflection which follows along as well. Let's make it look a lot more like a reflection. So let's change the blending mode of this mix. You can play around with these blending modes and get a different look for depending on what kind of effect you're going for. But for this example, I want to use hue. It does a pretty good job. So let's just select all these, press Control J, turn it into a frame. You don't have to make these frames, it's just to keep the things tidy so we know which section does what. Now we're going to add uh, that kind of surface area to the top, so it's pretty simple. Shift A, go to Color, then Mix. Drop this on here, connect this up to the viewer. Shift A, Input Mask. And then let's select the top, plug this into the factor. So if we play through this, we can see that the top stays where it needs to be. And that's because we parented the mask to the tracker. So we don't need to add um, a translate node for this one since it's already moving along with it. So what we can do is just drag this image here, plug this into the image slot here. Nothing's changed. So shift A, go to color, RGB curves. And we're going to drop this onto the bottom string. Now we can just brighten this up a little bit or maybe quite a bit so now it looks as though there's some surface area on the top there's some surface to this magical liquid now for the last step let's make this look a lot better let's uh, shift a go to color mix drop this in plug this up to the plug this into the view node as well now what we're going to do is add the original image so this original background here and since things are getting too far away, what we can do is just select this background movie clip, press G, bring this over. We also want to do the same for this original mask. Bring this over, bring this over here. Then for this background, I just want to take this feed and plug this into the bottom. For this mask, let's plug this into the factor. So now this original glass has just been added to the scene. Let's just move these two back since we don't need them now. Okay, so this is what we've got. So now those are connected, it's pretty simple. Let's just change this from Mix to Dodge. Again, playing around with these blend values will give you a different look. And so some things will give you quite a good look, some things won't work. So it's best to play around with them and see what you get. Also make sure we clamp these so we don't get any unwanted artifacts as well. Should I mention that before? So now that's looking a lot better. So now we need to blend things in. Let's go back to this mask all the way over here. So now this mask is being used for three different things, but, but the blur we can use is uh, universal. It can be the same value. So, so if we hold shift and then left click and drag, we can create a reroute node. But now we can shift A, add in a blur node. Just drop it in here. Now it'll be applied to all of them instead of just plugging them in manually again. Now for this blur, again, it's all scene dependent. These values will be different depending on your scene. So let's try a value of 20. Looks okay. You can play around with them until you get something that works for you, but let's just turn this off. This was before, this was after. So it blends in, makes it look a lot better. So we could do the same thing for the surface water, which was here. Just add a blur. This probably wouldn't need as much, maybe five. So it blends it in a little bit more. 
So there's a few more things we could do to change this. I'm going to go ahead and change the label, uh, maybe change the color of the bottle, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to create a mask, change the color, create a label and just, um, just mask it in. But if we wanted to, we could change the color of this fairly quickly. If we go back to the first frame that we created, this movie clip here, if we shift A, go to color, add in a hue saturation value, just drop this in here. Now if we play around with a hue, we can get a completely different color and a different look. Depending on what kind of look, I mean that kind of looks like poison or maybe toxic waste. But um, orange looks okay. I think this orange looks pretty good. Kind of especially goes with the candles. So you'd need to change the color of the bottle as well. It probably will help. That looks better. And again, we can we can blend this in, make it transparent if we want to. I'll maybe also add a gradient and just make this fade out towards the end of the table. But again, you can go ahead and um, make this look even better. But if you're ready to render it out, we just need to go down. Make sure we set the output for your file. Select the output. Then we can choose what kind of file we want to render out. If we want to render this out as a video, let's choose FFmpeg video. Select encoding. And then from these presets, I'm going to choose H.264 in MP4 format. This seems to work best for me. So you can go ahead and hit animation. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.